In this video, we'll compare these three gimbals and we will find out which is the one that you should be getting in 2021. Hey, what's up guys? Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today we will compare these three gimbals. We'll compare the DJI OM4 to the Hoem iSteady V2 and also to the Scion Smooth Q3. And just a little spoiler, if you're not patient enough to watch the entire comparison, all of these three gimbals are amazing gimbals. With every one of these, you can get amazing results. And ultimately it is more important that you guys know what you're doing and how you can use it to get the best quality and the best results possible. And this is all also the reason why we have created Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. If you are interested in improving your skills, definitely make sure to check it out. We have a totally free webinar for you guys, but I would say let's hop into the comparison and let's come to the first category. And the first category is the price and the packaging content. So I would say let's start with the DJI OM4. This is the most expensive one of them all. It costs about $160, at least as of recording of this video. And for that, you get of course the gimbal itself you get a little carrying pouch and you get the cable and you know you also get a little second magnet that you can mount directly on a case of your smartphone for example so the dji om4 takes the third place right here second place takes the home iSteady v2 packaging content is basically the same you also get a little pouch you also get the cable and you know it also comes in a nice box and you can get all of this for just 130 dollars and the first place in this category takes the Scion Smooth Q3. This costs only about $110 and basically you also get the same packaging content but you do not get a little pouch that in my opinion does not really offer any protection for your gimbal. With the Scion gimbals you get a very nice carrying case you know this is a little more sturdy and it also you know has everything included that you need so in my opinion this takes the first place and something that I forgot to mention earlier all of these three gimbals come of course with a little table tripod so yeah you get this with all of them all right so let's come to the second category and that is the balancing part overall the better you balance your gimbal the less the motors have to work and overall the smoother your shots are going to be and overall also the payload will be higher because if you're balancing it perfectly like I said, the motors won't have to work as hard, so it can carry a little more. But more about the payload later on. Basically, the Scion Smooth Q3 and the Hoem iSteady V2 are pretty traditional gimbals. I mean, you know, you have a little, you have this little clamp, you can spread your phone into it, and then you can slide it up and down and to the right and to the left until it stays in, it, in its position without falling over. The better you do this, the better it will work. But overall, this is how you balance both of them. And the DJI OM4 has this party trick where it has just a little magnet on it. And basically, if you're not using the most heavy smartphone on the planet, you can just, you know, put this clamp onto your phone, let the magnets do its thing, turn it on, and you are good to go. Again, also, you can balance the DJI OM for a little bit. You know, you can change the position of the clamp. But overall, this gimbal is not meant to, to be balanced at all. So, yeah, in this category, we have two second places. It's the Scion Smooth Q3 and the Hoem iSteady V2. And first place takes the DJI OM4 because you know the overall balancing or the lack of the balancing part is just very user friendly and for any beginner and for anyone that is not you know a very technical guy I always recommend the DJI OM4 because it's just the easiest one to be starting out. So the third category is the overall payload of the gimbals and like I said before you know depending on how good you balance it it you know, it can carry a little more and a little less. And some questions that I get so often from you guys is, can any of these gimbals carry my iPhone 12 Pro Max or my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra or whatever? Overall, what I wanna say is, can these gimbals handle those super heavy phones? So in theory, first place takes the DJI OM4. It has a payload of maximum 290 grams. And both of those two gimbals have a maximum payload of 280 grams. So on paper, the difference is not really huge. And to answer the question, if you can use those super heavy smartphones, you know, I have used all of these three gimbals with my iPhone 12 Pro and an add-on lens from SV Assets, which, you know, overall is at about 280 grams and it worked with 
with all of them. So something that I always tell people is, you know, if you are using your phone naked, so meaning you're just using it as it is without any skins, without any cases and without any add on lenses and filters and so on. I think you will be able to use those heavy phones with all of those three gimbals. But if you're planning to use those add on lenses and those filters and so on, I would maybe consider getting a small gimbal that is actually meant to be used with normal cameras because you will just, you know, have an easier life and it will be more reliable overall. But overall, when it comes to the payload, first place takes the DJI OM4. And again, we have two second places with the HOMI Steady V2 and the Cyan Smooth Q3. The the fourth category is the app that those gimbals come with. And I actually made a video about the DJI Mimo app and the ZY Cami app. And in, and in this video, I actually tell you guys why I would not recommend that you should use it and why I personally never use those apps. And if you have not watched it yet, definitely make sure to check it out. So overall, I have to say that I'm not really happy with any of these apps. I just don't like the fact that it does not deliver the absolute best quality possible. If you're using it with iPhones, you at least get the full 4K at 60 frames per second with all of these three apps. But if you're using it with an Android phone, phone, oh, most of the time you actually can only shoot at 4K up to 30 frames per second, even if you're using a phone that is capable of shooting 8K. So this is definitely something that I personally, I'm just not a huge fan of. And overall, the usability of these apps is just, you know, I just personally don't like it. I way prefer to use a professional shooting app like Filmic Pro, for example. But if I would have to choose a first place, I would definitely give it the Home i Steady V2. I feel like the app overall is, you know, very clean and, you know, the functions that it offers is just better compared to the other ones. In my opinion, I still I'm, I'm still not a huge fan of this and I'm still probably not going to use this very often, but I just prefer this over all the other ones. And yeah, so second place is the Cyan Smooth Q3 and the DJI Home 4. So again, we have two second places. And the first one goes to the iSteady V2. So the fifth category is the overall tracking features of those gimbals. And you know, with the Cyan Smooth Q3 and the DJI OM4, you only get the tracking options if you are using the apps that we just talked about. So overall, I'm not a huge fan of the tracking function of those two gimbals because I feel like it's just not, you know, if you're tracking a subject, if you're tracking a, a person, for example, I feel like it's not following them very smoothly. I feel like, you know, if a person is moving from the left to the right or wherever, I feel like it's just, you know, it's it's, it's going there in, in certain bumps. It's not like following there smoothly. I feel like it's, I, I personally am not a huge fan of this because I always have the feeling like if I was doing this manually, if I was following the person manually, then I, I always have the feeling like it would be better. So that's why I actually never used the tracking feature of any of these two. And the Home i Steady V2 has this cool little AI camera up here. And this, you know, opens up the possibilities for tracking, for example, without using their app. So this is just, you know, miles better compared to their competitors. So yeah, this is definitely the thing that I can recommend. And I also like that you can activate the tracking and you can stop the tracking even without going into their app. Just by doing this, you can actually start the tracking and by doing this, you can stop it. So I just think this is a very innovative way. I like using it and especially, you know, this is this is meant for live streaming and so on. So I feel like this is a very cool option. And yeah, so definitely first place is the home i Steady V2 and second places go to those two gimbals. Next category is the overall battery life. And before we will talk about it more in depth, I can actually say that battery life on all of those three gimbals is very nice. All of them will bring you through an entire day of shooting because before the battery on those gimbals is empty, I can guarantee you that your smartphone will be empty or your storage will be full before these are before these run out of battery. So DJI claims that under ideal conditions, the OM4 lasts for about 15 hours. And I think, you know, something like 12 hours is more realistic. But like I said, this is just more than enough for a normal shooting day. The Cyan Smooth Q3 also claims the same 15 hours of battery life under ideal conditions, but but of course it drops if you're using the LED lights that is built in and the Home iSteady V2 
only comes at about nine hours of battery life. And this also goes down to like five hours. If you're using the AI sensor and the built-in LED light, then of course it drops. But also if you compare this gimbal, you know, to all the other ones, it's just way smaller, way lighter. And I still feel like, you know, this is just more than enough battery life because of the said reasons. This time we actually have two winners, the OM4 and the Smooth Q3, and the second place goes to the iSteady V2. Next category is the overall usability and the ease of use. And you know, the, the balancing part of the OM4 is just, you know, it's just the easiest thing that you can do. And this is definitely something that I really like about this gimbal. But also those two gimbals, like I said, the balancing is not, you know, it's not a huge deal, especially if you've done it a few times, you can get it done in like 20 seconds. You know what I really like about the Smooth Q3 is the mode button that you have here and that can and that you can always see in which mode you you are currently in with the om4 you just have you you do have this little m button but you can only switch between the modes if you are using the dji memo app that i do not like at all you know i think each of those gimbals have different pros and different cons also you know, I, I really like the iSteady V2 because with this button where you actually turn it on and off, you actually have five different commands that you can, you know, depending on how often and how long you press it, you can, you know, you can rotate it from landscape to horizontally, you can access the rotating mode and so on. So I feel like this is just, you know, a very cool way and a very, a very easy way of switching between several different modes. So definitely something that I like. And yeah, overall, it just depends on what you guys guys prefer and what is more important for yourself. So like I said, all of them have different pros and different cons. So for me, this category is actually a draw between all of them. So all of them take the first place for this category. Next category is the overall smoothness when you're shooting with those gimbals. And again, I feel like it is more important that you guys know how to properly shoot, how to get the smoothest shots possible, because all of them have extremely good motors and all of them can deliver, you know, perfectly smooth shots. Something that I have noticed with the Scion Smooth Q3 is when I'm using it with my iPhone 12 Pro and I am using the ultra wide angle lens, I sometimes had the issue that the gimbal itself was visible in the shot. This, you know, it just happens sometimes. It depends on the on the angle that you're actually holding the gimbal. Future editing Julian here, and I'm just interrupting for a second. The only reason why the gimbal was visible in this shot was because I was using an ND filter plus also an add-on lens. So in order to make this work, I just had to put my phone all the way to the side and that's why the gimbal was visible in the shot. So if you're using it normally without any add-on lenses and so on, this is not an issue. Before I started recording this video, I actually took all of them outside and, and did some comparison shots. And when I was watching the footage back on my phone, I could actually not tell a difference between any of those three gimbals. So I know in my recent comparison, I, I said that the Smooth Q3 was smoother than the OM4 and I still feel like this is true when you are running, but for just normal push-in shots, for normal parallax shots, I feel like that all of them can deliver the absolute same quality shots. So actually I will again call this category a draw. And if you guys are planning to shoot a ton of, you know, parkour videos or something like this, where you are running with your camera and the gimbal, then I would say go with the Smooth Q3 because this is just when running the smoothest of them all. And the last category is just about, you know, some of the extras and the cool features that they have. And basically the OM4, you know, it has the cool feature with the magnets, but we are kind of used to this now because it's like over a year on the market now. The Smooth Q3 has the cool party trick with this little LED light on the top here. And the cool part about this one compared to the one on the iSteady is that you can turn it around. So no matter if you're shooting with your front camera or with the back camera, you can always use this tiny LED light. And the, the coolest party tricks, of course, comes with um, the iSteady V2 because this has also um, more or less the same LED light and it also has the AI tracker inside of it. So this is an additional camera that actually captures the things and that lets you, you know, track your your subjects without using the apps, like I said before. And this is something that works really good. And something that I do not really like is that it only works if you're using your front camera because, you know, 
imagining that this would also work with the back camera and that I could, you know, track my, my parkour runner and I, I can track it with this AI camera that is built into here. I feel like this would, you know, bring, bring it even to another level. So imagining that this camera would also be rotatable like the light is here on the Smooth Q3, I feel like this would be even a, a better improvement, but I think this is a, a great starting point and I'm very much looking forward to what the future will bring because, you know, the ones that will actually benefit from this is us as being consumers. So first place takes, in my opinion, the iSteady V2, second place is the Smooth Q3 and last place takes the OM4. So yeah, this actually is the comparison. Um, like I said at the beginning, you can't go wrong with any of them. All of them are great and yeah. If you guys have any further questions, make sure to let me know. Definitely make sure to check out my totally free webinar. It's 30 minutes long, it's jam packed, and it will actually teach you the five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.